Welcome back to the Financial Modeling for Mining course. And in this lesson, we will talk about the mini perm debt structures. Stricter bank regulations and liquidity requirements made the banks to turn to mini perm loans to fund the project finance transactions. The mini perm loan is a short term loan with a balloon repayment profile, where the largest part of the loan is repaid at maturity of the loan. You can see on this chart the typical balloon repayment profile. We've got small principal repayments followed by a large principal repayment. The question is, how do we end up with such a repayment profile? And you will be surprised to hear that many loans have this balloon repayment profile in project finance. Let's assume that we've got a project with an economic life of 20 years. Next, we size the debt for the project based on CFADs that the project will generate in 20 years. So, this is a usual debt repayment profile based on 20 years of the project's operations. However, the lenders may insist that the project company repays the loan in year six. The sizing of the loan was based on 20 years of the project's cash flows. However, the actual repayment will be made in year six. And this is how we get a balloon repayment profile. So, how can a project company repay the total loan in year six if the debt was sized based on 20 years of cash flows? The solution is refinancing. We will be making small principal repayments and in year six, as per the agreement with the lender, we will repay the outstanding balance of the loan from the refinancing proceeds. Note that the refinancing facility itself can be a mini perm loan, which needs to be repaid in year 12. So in year 12, we will have another refinancing facility. And again, we will have to refinance the second facility in year 18. And this is how the long-term debt will actually be repaid under the mini perm debt structure. Let's now discuss the features of the mini perm loans. There are hard and soft mini perm loans. The hard mini perm loan is a loan which has a short legal maturity, such as five or 10 years, and the bulk of the loan is still outstanding at maturity. Legal maturity means that if the project does not repay the loan at its maturity, the project will be in default, so the lenders can take over the project. For project finance transactions, Hard mini perm loan are not well suited because of the additional risk that it introduces to the project, which is the risk of refinancing. The industry has come up with a solution to this problem, which is a soft mini perm debt structure. In the soft mini perm debt structure, the loan has a long legal maturity, such as 15 or 30 years, and there is no default risk faced by the sponsor. Instead, the lenders put in place incentives for the project company to refinance the loan earlier than its maturity. These incentives are cash sweep and interest rate step up. The cash sweep is using cash available for distributions to repay the loan earlier than its maturity, and the interest rate step ups are increases in interest rate margins. Let's now review the cash sweep in detail. The cash sweep is cash flow that remains after paying debt service and funding the reserve accounts, and that cash is used to repay the debt. This will result in the reduction of the cash available for the dividends and will lower the equity IRR. In many perm structures, the cash sweep is triggered when the loan cannot be refinanced. So, the cash sweep and the interest rate step-ups penalize the project sponsor and at the same time, incentivize the project sponsor to refinance the term loan. Typically, anywhere between 50 and 100% of the cash flow after the debt service and funding the reserve accounts is used as a cash sweep. The cash sweep is a standard provision in many perm loans. So, it is highly likely that if you work in the area of project finance, that you will have to have the cash sweep in your financial model. Let's return to the cash flow waterfall to understand the position of the cash sweep in it. We start with the cash flow available for debt service. Then, we pay the debt service. And after the debt service, we fund the debt service reserve account or any other required reserve accounts. The remaining cash flow will be used to accelerate the debt repayments as a cash sweep. And the cash flow that remains after the cash sweep can be distributed to the shareholders in the form of dividends.